Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to Subnautica News. Now, I finally have my channel back after having no access to it for two months. If you want to know more about that, there's a link in the top right hand corner right now. But let's get back into Subnautica News. There have of course been a ton of changes since I last played this game. So, first one is that in the top left you can now see whoever is currently talking to you. Now additionally, the devs released a few videos of Aurora Borealis's Borealis's? Boreali? I, I'm not sure. Which will be implemented in the game if you have certain weather conditions. This is what they look like. I think they look pretty good, maybe a little bit colorful, but then again, Auroras are usually very colorful. Now they also released a video on the hive mind. Do you remember when you thought it might swarm and attack you? Well, sadly, it turns out to be a plant. The hive mind is kind of reacting to the player. As you can see, it lights up and changes its color if the player is close, or any creature in that case. But that is it. So, sadly, no attacking from the hive mind. There's now also a new voice log for when you launch the rocket and it gets destroyed by the alien shield. I won't read it out, but I'll summarize it for you. So basically, once the shield activates and the rocket is destroyed, the director of the Vesper of course wants to know what's going on. Then suddenly, Jeff intervenes. Jeff tells them that he's now in control of the planet and any approaching vessels will be destroyed. He requests the Vesper to move to the next solar system and tells the director he infected the Vesper with the Kara bacterium and the only hope is to get Enzyme 42 from him. Now why does he do that? Because like the director, he wants the living architect. We don't know why exactly he wants it, he might have a good reason to and might be a good guy, but then again, good guys don't usually infect entire space stations with a deadly bacterium. It is pretty cool to see this turn take place and I did not expect Jeff to be the bad guy at all. So what do you think of this? Let me know down in comments below. If you want to read this, just pause the video, I'll scroll down slowly. The crashed ship now also has a proper texture with the colors and everything and we now know its name. Mercury 2. Now we might hear more about this ship in data entries or maybe we might meet a survivor, you never know. But this is the new crash ship. And yes, all parts have been retextured. So crash ship 1 up there, this part crash ship 2 and even the small one back in the purple vents now have proper textures. Well, that, that is new. I did not know that they implemented the voice line like that. That is cool, that will definitely scare new players who come to explore the cave of the frozen creature. But talking about the frozen creature, it has had quite some changes. Just that the water is still not fixed. Apparently, this is all now destroyed. I do not know what happened here, but definitely something went wrong. Now I'm just curious, does the elevator work still? <laughs> yes, okay, the elevator at least still works, though we are way faster like this. As far as I can tell, nothing else changed though, so it remains a mystery what exactly caused this thing to be destroyed. I mean, it would be really cool to see this creature unfreeze and be alive, but I just really doubt that the devs would do that. <laughs> though it would be cool. It, it definitely would be. <clears throat> Motors, come up, come on. <laughs> okay, moving on. Now lastly, we have new buildables, such as the fridge, which will keep your items cooled and fresh. The shower, which does absolutely nothing, but hey, you can turn it on. The sink, which also does absolutely nothing, but hey, you can turn it on. A small stove, which you will most likely step on and burn your feet, but hey, you can turn it on. And the toilet, which also provides no actual use since you don't have to go to the toilet, but hey, you can open and flush it. Isn't this amazing? I love it. 
Now, as far as I know, that was everything that changed during the months which I was not able to upload any videos, but it is very likely that I missed something. So if I did, remember to tell me in the comments down below or join my Discord server and tell me there, and you might get featured in the next episode. For this episode, special thanks to The Unknowns for helping me with it. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like and share the video since it helps me out a bunch since the YouTube algorithm now greatly favors big brand channels over small individual ones. So if you want to help me, go ahead and do that. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!